So with with the typhoons, basically there are, there are three things which are out to get you. So it's the rain, uh, the wind, and then the sea. So whenever I'm on location or heading somewhere or you know along a stretch of coast or area which is going to see a, a major typhoon impact, I'm always like, right, okay, how is the rain going to kill me? So I'm looking at you know the flood risks. Am I going to be close to a mountain river or some big cliffs or areas which are prone to landslides? or stretches of road where, you know, they could get washed out or flooded. That's always something I'm looking out for. Uh, the wind, well, that's a pretty obvious one. That's the one which everyone kind of directly associates with typhoons. So that is, how am I going to keep safe from the wind? If it's a very, very strong typhoon, I'm going to need to have shelter, which is, you know, a concrete, solid concrete building or uh, a major, very large building of some sort. And then the ocean. Uh, am I going to be traveling along roads at night, which are right by the sea, where the waves can come and inundate? Um, is there a big storm surge threat, where, which is similar but different to a, like a tsunami threat? But you're talking not just big waves, but a big surge of water that moves inland. So kind of like a flooding. Yeah, yeah, but from the ocean. And it's, it's, it, it can be as destructive as a tsunami. So these are the these are the kind of the three main things which are always you know these are the things which are out to kill you, and you've always got to have in your mind about to keep yourself safe from 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 those factors. So that's literally as soon as I'm on location, as soon as I'm landing, I'm just processing everything, just saying right, okay, is this location? What are the risks here? Okay, run from the water, hide from the wind is basically the saying we have. Um, and if you if you're in a location where you can you can do that and tick those boxes, then yeah, you by the time the storm comes, you're probably good to go. We've been talking so far a lot about typhoons. Yeah. Um, I know in the news we often also hear hurricanes. Yes. So I did the research once because I was curious, and as far as I understood, the difference is just typhoons are in Asia, hurricanes are like hitting you know Florida and like the Caribbeans, and that's the only difference. But in terms of storms, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's, it's basically just different name for kind of cultural reasons. So hurricane, I think, comes from the Spanish derivative of the word. Uh, I'm not going to even pretend to try and pronounce it in Spanish. Um, typhoons in Asia, cyclones, tropical cyclones uh, in, in the southern hemisphere are all the same type of storm, storm system. The only real difference is in the northern hemisphere they spin anti-clockwise and in the southern hemisphere they spin clockwise. So, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Within those cyclones, uh, typhoons, uh, do you have differences? We often hear categories from one yeah. to five or six. Uh, what are those and are there other differences between them? Yeah, so a tropical cyclone is basically any type of hurricane typhoon regardless of the strength from the weakest which is usually uh, a tropical storm all the way up to you know a category five hurricane or what we call out here informally a super typhoon um and there's a large amount you know there's a big difference between the top of the scale and the beginning of the scale they can all be very dangerous so generally the weaker storms their biggest threat that they pose is, is flooding rainfall so in countries like, you know, the Philippines or Taiwan or Central America, places like that, uh, we've seen historically many, many times weak storms have hit those areas. But if there's a lot of mountains, they can dump massive amounts of rain and still kill thousands of people, but they just don't have much wind. But then you get up, you know, to category one, which is uh, the weakest category of a hurricane which you get when the winds hit 120 kilometers an hour, 75 miles an hour, 65 knots. So there's a different wind speed scale. Um, so as soon as you hit basically 120 kilometers an hour, you've got a, a typhoon or a hurricane. Um, and then that goes all the way up to, you know, you know, 250, 300 kilometer an hour sustained winds like in the, the upper echelon of the, highest the ever category recorded? fives. Yeah. Um, you know, wind gusts in excess of 200. So I'm getting all these. A lot of numbers. <laughs> I'm getting all these, um, but the different scales. I'm getting confused. 
um, you know, regular non-weather folks gave them views. Yeah, so 300 kilometer an hour plus winds possible. Uh, and that's where you're really keeping your head down and, and praying. <laughs>